So hey everybody, today I wanted to give a brief overview of some of the new precision unit measurement related functionality uh, in plasticity. Now of course the focus of plasticity is like artistic expression, form finding, um, and precision is not the focus. Nevertheless, it's helpful to give um, a, lots of different kinds of artists and product designers basic measurements at least, and I will be adding more and more over time. So the first thing I wanna focus on is this area down here in the window. Based on your current selection, um, it will tell you information about the objects that are selected. So in this case, three solids have um, this volume, 13 meters squared, and this surface area, and the centroid of these three objects is located there. If you have edges selected, for example, it will show the length of edges, and if you have faces selected, it will show the surface area as well as the perimeter of those faces, their centroid, etc. Uh, additionally, if you select like a curve, it will show the perimeter of the curve, the length of the curve, excuse me. And in the special case of circles, it'll show the radius. Same is true for circular edges. The same is true for like cylindrical faces. It'll show their radius and spherical faces, as well as blend faces. The radius will be displayed there. Now, another new thing you may notice is that in the dialogues, in the uh, numerical inputs in the dialog, um, units are now displayed. So that's true here as well as when using the gizmos it will display units. Now by default plasticity is in meters, but if you would like the units to be something else, for example centimeters, um, let's change the grid size to be now instead of 120 meters we'll make it 1200 centimeters, um, you can now have units displayed in centimeters if you prefer. Now, in these numerical fields, you can type basic mathematical expressions, including with units. So you can type in one centimeter, right? But you can also type in one, which will be the default unit, which is a centimeter, or one millimeter. Or you can type in a, a, a mathematical formula like one, me, one meter plus one centimeter divided by two. And another thing you can do here is type in, um, instead of typing enter, you can type shift enter, which will keep the focus in the, in the text area so you can tweak things until you find something you like, let's say, something like that. Now, a feature that's been around for a while, um, but maybe I haven't talked about, is you, know, you can drag in these fields and if you want to go fast, you can hold down Alt and drag. And if you want to go slow, you can hold down Shift and drag. And that can be sometimes useful. It's just like when interacting with the gizmos. Um, you can hold down Shift to slow down or Alt to speed up. Whoa. Um, yeah. Now, related to that, in terms of like minor hidden features, it can be sometimes a very far distance to travel from your mouse all the way down here. You can type shift tab, which will move the dialog right under the cursor, and you can tweak things. And then as soon as you mouse away, it'll go back to where it started. So shift tab, and then you know do that as you like. Um, I think that's it for now. Uh, there's still some kinks to work out around some of the precision stuff, but that's the basics, and more will be added over time. So yeah, see you soon. Oh yeah, by the way, Plasticity's launch date is April 5th, which is 15 days away. So hopefully, uh, yeah, hopefully you'll buy a copy. Awesome.